glad you could drop by. You probably already know that Scientific American has one of the largest blog networks out there. But did you know for the month of June, we had over 1.2 million visitors spending hours and hours and hours on our site? How could I even choose some highlights from the month of June? I mean, there's so many. What really happens when lightning strikes sand? Fungus and humanity. The new guinea singing dog, the rarest dog in all the world. Fish with human teeth. Homesick astronauts on Mars. What are the limits of psychophysics? Meeting your spouse online may lead to a better marriage? What? Lots of people are now going online to find dates, and this modern dating ritual appears to be working. A new study of 19,000 married adults shows that more than one third of marriages are now starting online. Finding your spouse online was also associated with fewer breakups and greater satisfaction with your relationship than was finding your spouse at a real bar, church, coffee shop, or wherever. Why? No one really knows. Maybe it's access to more potential partners. Or maybe it's that chatting online makes people reveal more about themselves. Or maybe the process just gives you time to evaluate a person before you're in too deep. eHarmony did fund the study, but it promised to publish the results regardless, and other folks gathered and analyzed the data. So I thought it was worth telling you about. Long walks on the beach. Oh, hi, you're back. Here's some more headlines from the blog network last month. Is drinking milk in adulthood causing obesity? A secret society of cells runs your brain. Human ancestors were nearly all vegetarian. Zombie ants are a cultural obsession. What lives at the bottom of Mariana's trench? Tar sands and pipeline spills. How does competitive eating represent American society? Pigs aren't stupid, maybe they're just stressed. Pork is one of the top meats consumed in the world. And in the US, we eat millions of metric tons of pork a year. Now, pork is, of course, from pigs. And uh, as we keep these animals and rear them in the millions, it's important for us to know about their behavior and how we might affect it through our farming practices. In a recent study published in Animal Cognition, we looked at how um, the rearing conditions of pigs might affect their behavior. So pigs were either reared in enriched or in barren housing, and then the researchers looked to see how this affected a particular aspect of their cognition, their ability to find a food treat that was hidden in a particular location. Now what they found was um, that pigs were raised in the barren housing where they had a much worse short-term memory than pigs that were raised in the enriched housing. This is important because it tells us um, about what's important for these animals and helps inform our farming practices. So you can see, it's hard for me to choose just a few of my favorite posts because our network is so vast and so diverse. Just have a few things to complete there, so I'm gonna sign off for now and uh, we'll see you again in July. 104 pounds?